Chainlink on the three month chart. Above $20 again, the shirt must be on. Sergey Flannel, full go. Chainlink above $20. Are we a full go there? Well, let's take a look at the facts. If you liked the video today, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter, Telegram, and Patreon for more content. All linked below. Three months chart, quarterly candle. So each candle, you guessed it, three months, right? So now look at where we are. What is significant about this? Look at the hell of an uptrend to start Chainlink's life. A little bit of a cool down, building our base, now moving back to the upside. So looking at where we are, right, we have about two months until we can close this candle. So we're looking at April 1st before we get a close here. What's our primary target? I'm glad you asked. Let's take a deeper look here, right, at a chart not often looked at. Three-month chart by Chainlink. What is it? Right, Our only target we're looking at right here is our second highest ever closing candle on Chainlink. It's right here. It's not much. It's $24. That's the second highest price that Chainlink has ever closed on a three-month chart. The highest? 37 right? That, uh, excuse me, 30, right? The high, high wick right there, 37. The highest close. We haven't even closed a quarterly candle above $30 for Chainlink. So guess what happens when we do that, right? It could be this very candle. It could be the next candle. But when that happens, right, the floodgates open, all hell will break loose, okay? We might have to buy another shirt or just put a, a cardboard cutout of Sir Sergey once we start closing this, right? You never know. But Let's look at reality here, right? We're looking at our, our eight EMA, right? So eight times three, 24. That's roughly a two year moving average for you mathematicians out there. And look how we came down to it, bounced perfectly off of it. The last time we did that, you gotta go way the hell back here, right? The last time we held support, January of 2022. Two years later, January, 2024. Support, resistance, all this, broken down, right? Bear on chain link, building back up, right? Wall down, wall up, hold support, first time in two years, no brainer. Next target, 24. We're not even that far away, right? We're within 20% of chain link closing the second highest quarterly candle ever in price, right? And after that, it's not much effort between there, right? We got another 20% after that, right? So 40% gets us to basically all time high closing prices. And that is just the beginning. When that happens, boom goes the dynamite. All right. So that is your macro perspective outlook on Chainlink. Everything looking great. Moving averages, all moving up. Check mark for bull run, right? You want your moving averages up. The last time we had all moving averages moving up, again, over two years ago, right? We just now got our 21 EMA here, right? So our 63 month moving average in the yellow, pretty good, epic stuff, right? Big things, macro scale, chain link shirts. I mean, what the hell else do you want, right? <laughs> higher prices, Chase. We just need higher, 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 right? So there's that target, right? We're now we're looking at the weekly. What do we like here? Well, how about this? We are now for the first time really in years, again, sorting out all of our moving averages sorted least to greatest on the weekly perspective. That's massive. It takes a long ass time to do that. Lots of up before you can start to get these. So we have 8, 14, 21, 34, 50 in the green, 100 in the blue, 200 EMA in the pink. All now above $10. Even the 10 the, the $10 mark is now above the 200 EMA. Amazing. Consol breakout, consolidation, next move, right? Here's our Remember, our, our next target, $24 on the biggest picture, the three-month quarterly scale. Wake up, right? Chainlink already taken out the weekly, right? We just took that out with the, with the you know, stick of butter. Hot knife through butter. <laughs> Probably a better analogy, hot butter. <laughs> All right, so on the weekly perspective, right? The the, the quarterly is, is here. The, the weekly, right? We're looking at our high close of 27. So we could even use that as a zone. We'll go from weekly to quarterly. So anything up in here, when we start to really gain massive momentum for the bulls, just from a TA perspective, that looks like where the door breaks, the floodgates open, the flannel is everywhere. 
If you haven't bought a Phantom shirt yet, you gotta buy it above here. I mean, it's kind of a requirement. Kind of. Kind of is. All right. How about, how about a couple um, of... Uh, let's back it up with some indicators. Okay. The Fisher Transform is now running parallel to the upside after a trigger buy. Great, right? I mean, look at this, right? Low, higher low, higher low, right? Looking ep epic there. Look at our high. I mean, this is our highest peak we've had. And again, <laughs> now we're looking at knocking on the door four years, right? The time we this high, not often. Or This is rare air, right? This is power. Power in chain link based on the indicator, right? Not my opinion. Indicator says it, okay? Momentum for the stochastic. Again, to the upside. Looking great there. All right? Good stuff happening. Not much bearish you could take out here, right? Maybe if you didn't buy anything in 500 days of sideways, maybe you're a little upset. Maybe you need to buy a flannel shirt to wipe your tears, okay? Other than that, it's looking pretty epic, okay? Pretty good. All right, we'll kind of wrap it up there. Keep these short and sweet. We'll do more throughout the week. Again, if you're a new subscriber, thumbs up. Let me know if you're new. I'll make more of these videos, right? The more new people we get, the more videos you get. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get to our quote of the day. And then I have a epic car of the day that I didn't even realize how great it was until 20 minutes ago. Okay, so it, it, it is the dim haze of mystery that adds enchantment to pursuit. Get the goddamn mouse off of the quote. Uh, great quote. All right. Car of the day. The Ferrari. What Ferrari is this? If you nail this, I mean, you're a bigger car guy than I am. You're probably like, hmm. I bet you're confused on this. Even the most keen eye might be stumped at this. Because I was. I saw this in person, right? I took this picture. And I was like, what am I looking at here? It's a Ferrari. I've never seen this model. It must be brand new. Wrong. This is a 2013. You're like, no way. That's not a real Ferrari. It is. It's one of the most rare Ferraris, which I've come to learn in the past 15 minutes. One of the most rare Ferraris on the planet. I had no idea what I was looking at even then when I'm walking around this car. Uh, I have no idea why this is not highly roped off in a security guard with a shotgun guarding it because... Apparently, this is worth $5 million. What? You're like, what the hell could that be? One of only six Ferrari Sergios. Ferrari Sergio. Right? It's a concept car. It never even released. I was, did not know what I was looking at here. Right? Ugh. I wish I could go back and look at this now. But I do have a couple more pictures. Ferrari Sergio. One of six on the planet. I was looking at one. I didn't even know what I was looking at. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's for another day. We can't even look at that. <laughs> uh, go the other way, Chase. There we go. All right. Look at this thing. So it, if it looks loosely like a Ferrari 458, you're right. That's what they, they kind of base this off of. The 458 Ferrari it looks very similar in the back. But look at some of these some of these uh, touches here are definitely very unique. Sergio in the back. Right. Look at that. Amazing. Ferrari Sergio. I feel like none of these people know either. I, I didn't know, and I'm a pretty good car guy. I'm a pretty pretty big in the cars. I did not know what I was looking at. Ferrari Sergio, $5 million, and it's just parked in the grass with normies walking around with little backpacks and jorts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Flannel to the car show this year. Selfies in front of Sergio's with this shirt. We got gotcha. you.